How's it going, everybody? KTV3 here with some more news. Um, so the PS4 is not considered to be a successor to the PS3, but in addition to the family. Uh, pretty much the articles. Uh, this first article I'm talking about is uh, mostly um about the PS4. You know, Sony commanding that the PS4 just be addition to addition or an add-on to the PS3, not you know, a successor. Uh, pretty much, they want the PS3 to be uh, still be played while the PS4 is still out, which is an addition, not really trying to take over the PS3. Uh, so, pretty much, an article it says gamer will be casting away gamers will be casting away or trading away PS3s when the PS4 will launch. Uh, Sony doesn't consider the PS4 its next gen console to be a complete replacement to the PS3. Sony's um, Sony's Middle East general manager suggests that the PS4 will have a positive response in the region, but he also he also include that the PS4, in addition to the PS family, like the PSP and the PS Vita, will offer a completely new gaming experience. Um, and it's also bringing up the thing that the PS4 is not trying to be a successor to the PS3, was trying to you know take it take over the PS3. And just be a addition or add on, and um, it's pretty much the PS4 is not sure. The Sony is not sure if the PS4 will be uh, released in Europe this year, uh, just because history, uh, as history came, you know, as history was going. I can't even say this. When history passed on a couple of years ago, uh, Europe never had. Uh, the PlayStation released on the same year that the U.S. did. They actually had to wait the next couple of months or the year after. And yeah, so the PS4, Sony's saying, is not going to be a successor, which is taking over. This is going to be an addition. Uh, I guess you can agree with that. Um, you know, most definitely many people, when the PS4 comes up, you know, many people are going to, some people are going to trade away, uh, you know, the PS3s for the PS4 just to get that, uh, you know, a new gaming experience, but most people are going to keep it and buy the PS4 also. Uh, because PS4 is not having, seeming right now, not having a backward comparison, you can't play your, uh, you know, previous games like PS2 games, PS3 games, or PS3 in this matter. You can't play PS3 on PS4. That's why they're going to keep the PS3s. And also, when the PS4 come out, they, you know, when the PS4 comes out, the PS3 will still get games for the next couple of years. I'll say two and a half years. Uh, you know, when the PS3 came out, the PS2 was still getting games for like the next two and a half years. No, it's not going to have that gaming experience that eight, you know, that more advanced technology, but you know, you're still getting the games and then Sony still compete. Sony still supporting their older systems. So, uh, that's a plus. Um, also, uh, there seems to be a new Meta Gear, uh, new Meta Gear Legacy Collection coming out real soon. Uh, so pretty much an article, a Korean video game rating board who has proven to be incredible accurate has listed the Metagear Legacy, Metagear Solid, the Legacy Collection. Uh, so pretty much there's not really that much news about it. To me, uh, well I think for the article, it's going to have all the Metagear games. So probably Metagear 1, 2, 3, uh, you know, the spinoffs for the PSPs. Uh, probably Metal Gear Solid 4, Ryzen, probably. You know, I don't know, that's a lot of games, uh, if they include the spinoffs. They probably will, but if they're not concluding the spinoffs, which would be the first three Metal Gears, uh, you got Metal Gear Solid 4, and you have Ryzen, that will be about, you know, a total of five, five games. So pretty much that's a big, big bonus right there. That's a big, you know, big collection. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, the PS4 is not a successor. It's going to be an addition add-on. So uh, when many people, you know, PS4 comes up, uh, many people are going to still hold on to the PS3 anyway, um, you know, to play the games that are going to be released for the PS3. Um, just because the PS4 coming out, P Sony's still going to support the PS3 games. That's pretty much what they're saying in this article. And it's just going to be an addition and that successor. I can, you know, sort of agree with that. I can, you know, go with that. It's not really going to, you know, change my mind. Not getting the PS4, but I'll still, you know, keep the PS3, you know, just in case to play for, uh, 
you know, memory down the road type of scenario. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. As always, have a wonderful day, everybody.